Hey everybody, Father Tony here. I am at the 2016 annual Joe and Ike Conclave. As you can see behind me here, all of these folks here are uh, here for Conclave. Everybody wave. Yay. They're very exciting. We just finished up with the lectures for the day. Dr. King's lecture was delightful, as you might expect. And uh, we are heading now to dinner down the street from the location. The uh, people walking in front of me are making fun of me for vlogging. So when, uh, when this video comes out, tell them all they can go to heck. Because, you know, the public demands that I talk into this camera. Anyway, uh, Bart Thomas gave a great lecture about silence, so let's try some silence for a little bit. So I'd just like to say that that should be on the wall. Yes. Are you having a good time? A sensational time. <laughs> uh, do you want any more detail? No. No, okay. All right. Father John, do you feel more priestly than yesterday? Absolutely. All right. It was the flan. The flan definitely did it for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm filled with the holy flan. <laughs> Today we have the entire morning off and most of the afternoon. Uh, so we're, uh, I think we're going to go to Walden Pond. We are at Walden Pond. It's myself and Marty Matheos. We decided that's how you say it. And uh, we are here to uh, take a little break from Conclave. Yeah. You know, experience the, experience the, uh, <laughs> is this in focus now? Vlogging is hard, you guys. It's difficult. Okay. <laughs> He's still very good at it. Oh yeah, well, thank you. All right, anyway, so this is a train tracks in Concord, Massachusetts, and uh, on which Henry David Thoreau would walk down to town every day to have lunch with his mother because he went to the woods to live deliberately and have lunch with his mother every day in town. Um, <laughs> Little known fact. That's true. Little known fact. People don't know that. <laughs> At any rate, it's, it's very chilly this morning. That's why His, uh, his Excellency is wearing a hat. Because uh, there's, there's not a lot going on under there. Yeah, no, 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 no natural insulation for yeah, either right. of us, really. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're just sitting here and we're chatting about uh, spirituality and the church and things like that, because that's what we do. We're, we're total nerds. It is. Well, we just realized we've been walking <laughs> along the the path around, well, around a depth of water. We've been walking around the depth, discussing the spiritual path in yes, Gnosticism. We, we are transversing the bythos. That's right, we're were. transversing the bythos. Yeah. All right. The buthos. No. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Greek is hard, too. Greek is hard, man. It's not as hard as vlogging. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and yet he's so good at both of them. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay, goodbye. There's pumpkin pie. They were running the tubes for this one. And they had to run about 20 gallons of fluid. So I thought I would share with you some interesting conversations that have been happening at the Conclave with uh, some of my 
colleagues in the church here, we uh, have been talking over the past several years a, a lot about the Apocryphon of John. It's kind of been a theme for us at Conclave. And that combined with the work that uh, Timothy Mansfield, Bishop, Bishop Timothy Mansfield and Jonathan Stewart have been doing with the, uh, the works of Margaret Barker and the temple theology uh, theory of Margaret Barker. Um, we have had a lot of interesting conversations about the Eucharist, uh, what, a, what Christian worship in general looks like and where it came from. Uh, and how that relates to a specifically more Gnostic Christian worship and Eucharist service. And with the addition this year, uh, His uh, His Eminence, Mar Johannes, the Patriarch of our Church, did a presentation on uh, the, uh, the Knights Templar legend that we use as our kind of foundational legend. Um, you know, starting with Moses being initiated in Egypt, up through the uh, the Knights Templar, uh, going to Jerusalem, me encountering a gentleman uh, bishop by the name of Theoclete, and uh, becoming the legitimate heirs of the beloved disciples' uh, lineage, a Gnostic Christian lineage, and then so on through uh, the suppression of the Templars to Bernard Raymond Fabre Pelleprat. And, uh, and so on. So it's a very interesting, there are a lot of interesting tie-ins, to be sure. One thing that has come out of it is um, we have been discovering an awful lot of things within our own liturgy and within our own spiritual practices in general that have very interesting echoes to, I'm saying interesting a lot, have a lot of echoes to temple theology, to the uh, Templar histories, uh, and, uh, and and things like that. So, and the secret book of John, uh, and and uh, and those what the practices of those kind of Sethian uh, Gnostic Christians, uh, what they might have looked like, at least to me anyway. There's a, I'm drawing a lot of interesting dots, connecting a lot of interesting dots. So what I'm what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to ask some of my colleagues in the church to share some of their thoughts on what they have uh, what they have gleaned from the conversations that we've been having and how they can uh, what what they think they're going to take away from it. All right, Jason Campbell, our newest deacon in the church. So, uh, how, how have you enjoyed Conclave so far? I this is my very first Conclave, mm -hmm. and I like it very much. Uh, and uh, there are occasional times that I do stuff, but mostly it's been, it's been really well. Yeah, really good. What what are what are you excited about? What have you learned this year at Conclave that you're going to take back with you? Um, there's some good ideas from uh, from the parish down in uh, Colorado, mm -hmm. and 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 Father Bray gave me a lot of great ideas, and I am going to bring that back to Portland, Oregon, and maybe start implementing and. Um, some of those ideas and see where it goes. Yeah. So if you're in Portland, uh, you know, go and go and visit Jason, and he'll show you all of his new ideas. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you very much, and safe travels today. All right. Thank you, <laughs> Maggie McNeely. You are uh, you are an acolyte, and uh, you are uh, you've been hanging around with us for quite a while now. <laughs> um, which how many conclaves? Um, I want to say this is number four or five. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, What have you learned this year? What's What's exciting to you from this year's conflict? Well, I think um, there was. I mean, Monday was an amazing day because there was a lot of experiential work going on. So, um, doing the the collages meditation and doing the Thunder Perfect Mind as a, as a performance reading with a group um, was an incredible experience. Um, and I had already been kind of experiencing a lot of joy and um, fun and getting to know everyone and speaking with people that I never really got a chance to yeah. um, get to know and talk to and hear about their personal journeys and what inspires them. Um, so, mm -hmm. participating in a group with um, 
these more experiential kind of artistic kind of performative aspects um, was a really nice way to be with people and to learn about them and see you know what you can create together just right now looking at all the artwork is um, just brings me a lot of joy and the performance piece with the Thunder Perfect Mind was um, a very deeply spiritual experience and it was also a great communal experience, which I think is something kind of rare um, outside of maybe the mass. Um, so that was really incredible. and. Um, I had almost, um, as an introvert, I had tuned out of the fact that there were so many people in that room and it was, <laughs> you know, doing the reading, it was almost like we were all part of one organism. Mm. Um, yeah. So I think Monday is a real standout day for me. It's just a really incredible um, experiential day. So uh, Your Excellency, mm. uh, what have you, what are you going to take away from this year's conclave? What's, what, what are you excited about? What am I excited about? You know, out of everything at this year's Conclave, I think the thing that's really struck me, and it's particularly being here at St. Sarah's, is the number of people, I think particularly lay people, mm -hmm. um, who are just devoted to this tradition. I mean, to this organization, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it's less that they're devoted to the organization and more that there's something in the tradition that you can feel it, that people are like really getting something out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, when it's a pack of clergy, you know, we're all nerds for this stuff. I mean, that's right. what we hear, right? right. Um, and that's great. And, and lots of conclaves, there's lots of clergy, but having lots of lay people here at this particular conclave um, who are just looking, I don't know, they just seem like they're nourished and um, charged up about it. And that's really inspiring, I think. All right, Father Donald. Mm -hmm. You've put on a fantastic conclave this year. Thank you very yeah, much. No, it, it, it's Happy a delight to be all here all and to see all of the hard work that you've done and all of your parishioners, and uh, you, you deserve a lot of credit for that. So, Well, thank you very much. Good job. What, uh, what are you going to take away from this year's conclave? What, what have you been really excited about? I've been really excited about people uh, from their co communities coming together and sharing at a, a little bit lower level than we usually do, so the people who are actually on the ground uh, and doing a lot of the, the work behind the clergy or for the clergy or for the church. Um, it's been very interesting to share notes with people like Karen and others who, um, who are in that role, so more of a practical look at how Jonai communities across the country and the world are mm -hmm. developing and trying to answer situations and fit into their community in a way that's useful but also uh, maintain uh, the sort of um, liturgical and also social uh, components with very few people and yeah. resources. Mm -hmm. Reverend Subdeacon Juliana Island. So you have, uh, you've been hanging around with us for a while. Mm -hmm. um, which conclave, how many conclaves is this for you, do you think? This is my seventh. Oh, that's great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Each one better than the last, I'm Absolutely. Sure. <laughs> so, um, what are you excited about this year? What, what's, what's been most interesting to you? Um, well, I've enjoyed all of the presentations, uh, the little workshops, but I have to say the thing that has been most exciting to me has been the opportunity to meet the local community. Uh, we, I got to stay at the home of Cherry and Dave yeah, Russell yeah. and their hospitality was just extraordinary. And I really loved the opportunity to meet the local congregation in a way mm -hmm. that isn't always possible at these right. things. So I'd say meeting the people and getting to know them better was probably the most exciting thing for me. All right, Your Eminence, Mara Johannes, Patriarch of the Apostolic Joe and I Church. And very tired. And very tired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to your first appearance on the channel. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I, I think I did one a couple years ago, but they probably scrapped it because I said something dumb. So. Yeah. No, I didn't edit any of that because I'm lazy. Oh. Yeah. Well, then. There you go. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm asking everybody, kind of, what what they're excited about about this year's conclave. What are you What are you going to take home with you? Uh. Well. Uh. Other than. Uh, well. Geez. Uh, probably a, a few extra pounds worth of calories. 
um, a lighter wallet, uh, <laughs> a lot of a lot of excellent uh, fellowship and memories, and of course, uh, post conclave depression. I'll probably be pretty sad for the next couple of days. So yeah, but uh, this is why I'm married and have a little puppy at home. So <laughs> they uh, they they pick me up. Yeah, so it's been a fantastic experience, and we aim to uh, improve kind of year year over year to to one up the previous, not to. Not to do any slight to everybody who's done conclave so far, but I think if we're if we're not uh, advancing ourselves mm -hmm. uh, consistently, well then you know why are we here? And this one has definitely been one of the best. Mm. It's fantastic. So yeah, what was your favorite lecture? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, who's who's your favorite child? <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, well, I, I obviously didn't get to see the lecture I gave because I put that at the bottom of the list. Uh, other people did get to see it, and uh, I'm not sure how they feel about it or if they'd tell me how they actually felt about it. But I, I have to say, uh, Dr. King knocked it out of the park. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I was, you know, obviously when you put lots of expectations and excitement on a thing, um, you wonder how it's actually going to go. And uh, I had high expectations, and they were exceeded. Yeah, it was fantastic. Mine too. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was thrilled to meet her. Yeah, we, I managed not to drool on anybody <laughs> or, or her, so yeah. It's, it's, it, yeah, it was really good. I would do that ten times over. Mm -hmm. I've actually enjoyed all of our lectures, yeah. so I was really impressed. Yeah, I liked yours, so I, you know, not to blow smoke, but you know, I'm, I'm excited about the work that you're doing with the, uh, the Templar history of our church, the legendary yeah. history, and the um, Fabry Palaprats well, uh, material was, and all that. It was, it was a little bit over, overdue, I think. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, as you can tell by my many Tognosis appearances, <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm very reluctant to, you know, go in front of or even, you know, behind of a camera in, in, in any shape or form. But I know that there's, there's a lot of people who are deeply interested in that legend, that mythos, and that spirit. Um, you know that can that connects and interweaves between the Jonite mythos and the Templar mythos, and of course the the origins of the community of the beloved disciples. So I've tried to slowly run a thread between all those historical points and find out you know uh, you know what's real, what's legend, what's uh, you know what's spirit, and of course what kind of ideals and practices we can take out of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well. Uh, look forward to that on the Joe and I Church's YouTube channel. Or not. Or not. No, that, that should go up. <laughs> anyway. It will. We'll, we'll it talk will. about it. Yeah. Yeah. It will. <laughs> and, uh, and, and many, many future interesting discussions to come on that. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. And probably a few spam comments, too. <laughs> but, uh, we like those because it's kind of funny. And I just want to say uh, uh, Father Tony and the, and the GWN crew have been doing a fantastic job. I couldn't be... Uh, more proud and so much so I am I am so proud that um, it's almost cost me to go on the show on several occasions then, <laughs> then I retreat for fear of sticking my foot in my mouth so you know but I will get there eventually I promise yeah very soon <laughs> very soon all probably right. sooner than I like but just as soon as they like so all right. it works thank you very welcome well that's it everybody conclave is over I'm sorry for a bit of a longer vlog but I hope that you liked it um, I, I love those guys, <laughs> and I, I can't wait to see them again next year in Denver, Colorado. So mark your calendars for the month of May sometime. I'm sure we'll get a, a date very soon. Uh, and um, save, up your, save up your credit card miles because uh, Denver is, is going to be the next conclave. I hope to see you all there. I hope that this, uh, this video gave you some indication of the kinds of things that we do and the kind of fun that we have there. So uh, bye for now. Yeah, we haven't shot anybody with a cannon in, gosh, you know, five or ten there years. Is all that, there's all that, like, cannon in the distance noise the last couple of days. Yeah, like, I, think what's that's, that about? I think that's thunder. Really? Yeah. It doesn't sound like thunder, it sounds like cannon. The rocket's red flare. <laughs> the rocket's bombs red flare. <laughs> the bombs bursting. I'm glad we're getting all this on camera. Patriotic um, sound. Patriotic sounds moment on Father Tony's vlog. Yes, indeed. <laughs>